Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. I'm going to take you up to Buffalo, and I just want to give uh, a very interesting anecdote that I think sheds some light and perspective on the death of Buffalo mob racketeering case witness Crystal Quinn, um, who, according to the government, was intentionally overdosed uh, with a, a, a fentanyl-laced Xanax pill back in August, she was on the verge of testifying against Peter Gerace Jr., the nephew of alleged Mafia Don uh, Joe Todaro, a.k.a. Jr., a.k.a. Big Joe, a.k.a. Joe Pizza. And Gerace Jr. is going on trial for uh, sex trafficking, drug trafficking, bribery, money laundering. Crystal Quinn was his personal assistant, and she flipped, turned government informant um, at the end of January, early February of last year in 2023. Uh, in some court filings related to the outlaws, I'm bearing the lead here, I apologize, but uh, we're going to talk about an outlaw biker summit that happened in the uh, days after it became known that Crystal Quinn had become a government cooperator. Tommy O, John Ermine, a.k.a. Tommy O, the boss of the Outlaws Motorcycle Club. Um, we're, we're reporting here at OG as well as at, at the Gangster Report, our uh, companion web magazine, that uh, Tommy O, as well as Peter Gerais Jr., had a lot of uh, connections and uh, moles, frankly, in the uh, federal government and the, the state government out of Erie County. And... They they learned of of Crystal Quinn's cooperation way before it ever reached uh, a court filing or her being outed uh, in a court hearing. And it's interesting to note uh, timeline wise that it appears that she uh, officially made her cooperation deal on February third, and according to Tommy O's recent court case in a detention memo he summoned 30 outlaw boss shot callers from around the country to buffalo for a meeting at the uh buffalo niagara international airports hilton garden inn on february 11th 2023 there were 30 different uh leaders and powers within the outlaw biker club nation from around the country that came to see tommy o in buffalo a week after uh, both the outlaw bikers and Peter Gerace Jr. And by proxy, the Buffalo mob uh, found out that Crystal Quinn was cooperating. Uh, Tommy O is not named in the sex and drug racketeering case. He was picked up in a raid back in December where they found drugs and guns and just recently uh, was hit with a, a superseding indictment in the original case for obstruction, as long, along with Gerace Jr., uh, with obstruction tied to the death of Crystal Quinn. But um, first, uh, another thing that should be noted that when they raided his house in December, not first, but it should be noted that uh, they found a sealed indictment, uh, something that should have been not made uh, public, but uh, it was a, a sealed version of the indictment against Gerace Jr. Uh, Tommy O is very close with Gerace Jr. He works at uh, Gerace Jr.'s strip club, he, the general manager of Pharaohs uh, in Cheektowaga. And uh, Tommy O is, is the international president of the Outlaws Motorcycle Club, probably the, the most powerful uh, biker boss in the world right now. Uh, his passport shows that he, he globetrots um, and, and takes meetings all around the, all around the multiple continents um, in Europe, in Asia, in Australia. Uh, he is commanding outlaws troops all around the world. And uh, he called for a meeting of all of his United States uh, biggest heavyweights, the guys that he trusted the most, his biggest guns. They all came to Buffalo uh, and the arrangements and uh, their being uh, ushered to that uh, hotel for that meeting were, uh, were tasked or the person that was tasked with making those arrangements 
was the sergeant at arms of that Buffalo uh, club. Uh, one of the right hands, the Tommy O, uh, uh, Big Scotty Barnes. And there were, you know, Fed's eyes were all over this thing. They were snapping photos, monitoring phone calls, monitoring communications. But uh, there was a meeting of all the most powerful Hell's Angels, excuse me, all the most powerful Outlaws Motorcycle Club bosses uh, in Buffalo a week after they found out that Crystal Quinn had cooperated. Just wanted to keep you updated with that. Um, Tommy O will be, uh, has been denied bond and is uh, awaiting trial. He will not be on the streets when Peter Gerace Jr. goes to trial in the next couple of weeks. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod, out. <music>